Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm gonna to be doing a trash to treasure makeover. I have been looking for a desk for this area in my son's room for such a long time. I wanted a dedicated space for him to grow up with, to do homework on, but then also that he could use right now to draw and color on. And I couldn't find anything. I was thrifting, I went to garage sales, and everything everybody wanted was 20 or $30. So finally, last week, I came across this great find when I was walking my son to his bus stop. Somebody had put a desk out in their trash and it looked like it was in pretty decent shape. So I was really excited. I went back, got my husband and we drove over and picked it up and brought it home. And that's what I'm gonna show you what I do today. I'm gonna literally take trash to treasure and do a makeover. So if you are new to my channel, and like these types of things and also DIYs, hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So this desk wasn't in that bad of shape, but I did still have to do some prep work before I started painting it. Um, before I even brought it outside, I left it in my garage for a couple days with some Lysol and wiped it down really good with some vinegar, soap, and water mixture. And now what I'm going to do is they must have nailed and screwed this side to the wall that didn't have any legs. Um, so I just unscrewed the screw with a drill and then the nail was a little bit more work, but um, wasn't too hard to get out with a little elbow grease. Next, I went ahead and sanded the holes with just a piece of sandpaper. And I didn't have any wood filler, so I used some drywall compound stuff to fill the holes with, and that worked perfect. Now there was a hole which actually didn't go all the way through the wood, so I needed to fill that in. And for that, I'm gonna use this Starbond gap filler, the thick kind. And I'm just going to fill that gap in since it didn't go all the way through the wood. And then I have the Starbond accelerator so that way it will dry quick so I don't have to wait to sand it. And let me tell you, it actually really did dry quick. So if you guys are interested in any of the Starbond products, the link is down below in the description box and use that code measure mix to get 10% off of your order now what I'm gonna do is just give all of the holes a good sanding next I needed to prepare the drawers and I just needed to remove the hardware from both of the drawers I'm not reusing the hardware I'm actually gonna use this hardware that I bought a long time ago um, and I wanted to go ahead and use it for his desk so the holes don't exactly line up unfortunately on one side. So what I did was I just took some more of that uh, spackling joint compound stuff and I filled one hole on each drawer and then um, when it was dry I came back and I just marked where the new hole would be at which was literally right next to the old hole and I went ahead and drilled a hole and then that worked out perfect for these handles so I'm glad I tested it out before I actually went and painted and did all of that first. All right, now after all that prep work, I am ready to paint. And what I'm gonna use is the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color Patina. It's kind of like a bright aqua color. My son really wanted a bright blue color for this desk, so that's what I wanted to do for him. This is the first coat going on, and it did end up having to have four coats of paint for this. And this is what it looked like with four coats of paint. After the four coats of paint were done drying, I did come back and use some polyurethane to coat this and protect it because it will get probably a lot of wear and tear with my son. Now that the desk was all dry, I brought it up to the space and I cut a piece of two by four that was the same width as the desk. And I placed it underneath the part where it didn't have any legs at and just nailed that to the wall. And then I nailed 
the top of the desk to that piece of wood. Ideally, I would have liked to paint that piece of wood the same color as the wall color, but I couldn't find the extra paint, so I didn't do that right now. So maybe later on I will. But then all I did was install the handles back on the drawers and put the drawers back in and it was all finished. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure makeover and you liked how my son's desk turned out. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.